up guys, this is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review I want to look at the non-Marvel Legends Ultimate Spider-Man, the Miles Morales Spider-Man. I said non-Marvel Legends because it's technically not, it's in the Spider-Man movie line, but it's basically a Marvel Legends figure just with lower quality if you can believe that. It's got less quality than a standard Marvel Legends figure and uh, I think that's really saying something and we'll point out the issues as we go. He stands just about five and three quarters inches tall. He comes with one of these stupid, 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 stupid bases, goofy bases, don't like those. And he comes with this stupid, <laughs> I'm going to keep using that now, one of these shields, which is supposed to look like webbing and I guess it kind of does, but it's just kind of silly looking. I don't care for that. It snaps onto his wrist. But even if he does that in the comics, it just looks bad on the toy, I think. I don't know. Anyway, let's talk about the paint application first. In some places, it's pretty good. Like the lines on the fingers. It's not perfect, but it's pretty solid. It's definitely passable. They look pretty good. The spider, and all the line work is actually pretty good. The lines are where they belong and all that kind of thing, but the paint needs another coat, at least, because you can see through. It's kind of uh, transparent. You can see the black going through it. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. The eyes are this kind of pearlescent yellowish silver, and it looks like they could use another coat as well. Hopefully, that's showing up for you. He's got... Um, he uses kind of like the standard buck body for Marvel Legends, like the... Uh, it's not actually the Moon Knight body, it's the other one, like Wolverine and Constrictor maybe, and Dakin or Dokken. Same body there, same torso, it's a slightly cheaper version, maybe it's just because of the plastic they use, but it's l missing a little bit of detail in some places. Uh, it has, well the torso is all the same, the thighs are the same, the knees are the same, and I believe the upper part of the lower leg is the same, but the shins are different and the feet are different. And at first I thought they were the same as the new Marvel Legends Spider-Man, which would make sense, but I'm pretty sure they're not. They seem smaller and cheaper and thinner, and not sculpted as well. But he does have the ankle pivot that is on those figures. It's just not quite executed as well. It's a little sloppy looking, I think. Maybe I'm being too picky, but I don't like the way the feet are so small, and then the ankles are so big, it just kind of throws off the look. And the feet are really... F Oops. And the feet are really flat, too. Just little things I'm pointing out, of course. The torso, the abdomen, is not the same size as the groin area. If you look from the side, there's a large difference in the thickness here and the thickness there. And I don't know if you can tell so much from here. But overall, it's just, there's a big kind of a ridge going all the way around because they don't fit together. He does have this extra shoulder pivot in there. And it works well enough. The paint goes all the way in, so it's okay. The red on the shoulders doesn't match the other parts of the red. He's got completely new arms as far as I can tell. I thought these were the same as the new ones, the new Marvel Legends ones, but I don't think they are after looking at them closer. They're a little bit sl slimmer, and they actually sculpted pretty well, and they fit Spider-Man pretty nicely, but they seem a bit too small for the, for the torso, and they have really big pegs. But it does look okay, and um, he's got the Y-jointed hips for this body, so I'm not a big fan of this body, as you guys know from other videos, but it works well enough for this guy, and even though he's lacking some quality overall, even compared to Marvel Legends, it's still a decent figure. One of the biggest things I thought was a misstep for this figure is he has no um, neck pivot. All he has is the swivel, and for Spider-Man, you should be able to make him look up and down. But you can't, so that's a big misstep, I think. Is it worth the $16 price tag at Walmart? Maybe. It's it's no, definitely a nice addition to the Spider-Man collection, but don't expect a great figure. He's very, very just satisfactory. He's okay enough to put on the shelf and to go with the other Spider-Man figures, but he's not going to blow anybody away or impress anybody. But still, if you're a big enough Spider-Man fan, I guess it's okay to have him and his stupid shield and his stupid base. At least the pegs are on the front of his feet so that you can make him stand on the base a little bit better than some of the other figures. But either way, there he is guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more reviews and other videos and lots of fun stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.